Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 15th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Sanders Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Quick little update on malicious uh, documents from Jan, and well, not all of them actually work. And that's something that I've observed in the past too, for example, against attacks against web application vulnerabilities, where sometimes, well, uh, the attack is just not done very well and often appears to be not tested. In this example, it was a malicious Excel spreadsheet or Supposedly malicious, we couldn't really tell because it was encrypted. And part of the email was that it mentioned a password. Of course, that's quite common, but the password mentioned the email didn't work and the yarn was actually not successful uh, brute forcing the correct password. So uh, this was obviously not tested by the attacker. One of those few cases where the victim just gets lucky. And then a couple of comments, corrections about yesterday's patch Tuesday. First, a couple of readers noted that I said there were six previously disclosed vulnerabilities, four being already exploited, but I said there are only nine, not ten, that were either disclosed or already exploited. And that's just because one vulnerability was both previously disclosed and already being exploited. And then, of course, being the print spooler vulnerability. And secondly, the Microsoft Exchange Server vulnerability that I pointed out, CVE 2021-34473, it was actually already patched in April. The CVE was omitted from the April uh, release. And as a result, they just sort of uh, republished this here as an informational change only. And thanks to Kenneth for pointing out uh, this oversight. And as far as post-patch Tuesday patches go, we uh, got a couple patches from Mozilla that are noteworthy. They affect Firefox with that also the Tor browser and Thunderbird. There are a total of 10 vulnerabilities being patched in Firefox, six of which are rated high and uh, could lead to memory corruption, in some cases uh, arbitrary code execution, so apply it or let Firefox apply the update as soon as possible. And SAP released an update for NetWeaver. Given uh, the attention that uh, these uh, types of uh, flaws do get from attackers, certainly something you need to pay attention to. Not a lot of details from SAP, but one of the NetWeaver vulnerabilities is a missing authorization check. So uh, that uh, could certainly be abused, even though the CVSS score is only rated with 7.6. Missing authorization, unlike missing authentication, typically means something like a privilege escalation vulnerability. And mobile security company Symperium is reporting about an uptick in sightings of the Joker malware, also fleeceware as it's sometimes called in recent months. It has shown up in thousands of samples in the Google Play Store as well as in third party app stores for Android. Joker has been around since 2017 and has been playing cat and mouse with various detection techniques. Victims are usually being signed up for premium mobile services, which is why this kind of malware is often referred to as fleeceware. It does not appear to steal any data, but it may be sending SMS messages to these premium services. And Canadian software security company Software Secure did an interesting analysis of less.js. Less.js, sometimes called a transpiler, it's basically a library that makes it easier to write cascading style sheets. But the functionality uh, can sometimes lead to unintended consequences, which may even lead in some cases to remote code execution on the server. So if you are using less.js, then by all means, uh, pay attention, read the article uh, by Software Secured about the weaknesses they, they found in this framework. 
Some of the simpler exploits uh, will release uh, secrets, like for example, AWS uh, access uh, keys. Uh, but then again, it could go all the way uh, to remote code execution. Also, server-side request forging is one of the vulnerabilities discussed here. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening. If I missed anything, uh, please let me know if there are any stories that I should have covered. Always uh, willing to listen. And uh, any other corrections, of course, let me know and uh, let your friends know about this podcast. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.